Hi and welcome back to uh, another one of my videos. Uh, this is the second part uh, for this gun. Um, this gun has been quite controversial um, for many reasons. So I think the format for what I'm going to plan to do is that um, in the first video, part one, if you've seen it, was the review of the gun. Great, and then we had a problem with firing it, so we never got the firing on there. So this video is all about shooting the gun. I want to show you what the gun actually does. But there is an element which is a little bit boring, and that's about the technical stuff on this gun, first of all. This, and now I have got repaired, so I want to show you how to fill up the, um, the bullets properly, so that you can see, because I was made a few mistakes on that. The second thing is that um, a few people have said, is that really the APM 50? Well, you can see for yourself, it is the APM 50. So, so if you're one of those people who have said, is that really the APM 50? It is. Okay, definitely it's on there. That's definitely the case. Okay, so let's just do... Um, a breakdown of what we're going to do. So we're going to do a little bit about the legals in this gun. Then we're going to do the uh, filling up of the bullets. Then I'm going to do um, obviously a firing test chromo and then we'll do some shooting and some some silliness. One of the things I will do in this video is to find out whether or not a gun like this shooting at 700 FPS is a dangerous gun. Now I'm not doing that because I'm trying to glamorize or, or do anything clever i just want to show you what a gun at 700 aps can do to somebody and what i've done is i've mocked up um you'll see i'm not trying to be clever i'm not trying to be spectacular what i'm trying to do is just to show you that you need to be sensible with these things these i know they are toys but they are serious bits of uh, kit and you need to be aware of that so let's cover First of all, the legals. Now, the legals are in the UK and it changes on area and area. But this is where I understand it. So, if you were to shoot a gun that's fully automatic and you shoot over 370 FPS, you are breaking the law in the UK. Okay? If it's a bolt action or a single shot DMR, then you're allowed to shoot up to, well, on the side, 400 for, or 415 for a, D, a DMR and 500 for a sniper rifle. If you're shooting over that, it's classified in the UK as an air rifle. So this, with these normal shells, shooting just under 500 FPS is an airsoft gun, okay? If I put these ones, which, not these ones, if I put these ones in, which is the high power shooting at 700 FPS, this gun then is classed as an air rifle. In this country, you are allowed to own an air rifle shooting in your own private property or on private land with the consent of the landowner, and it can shoot up to 1,100 FPS. So this is legal in the UK to plink, but if I was to take this to a game and shoot these at 500 FPS, no problem. If I was to take one of the high powered bullets, one, maybe more than one, and to shoot at someone on site, this is classed then as an air rifle and the site would ban me ban me from probably all the sites and any games and I wouldn't be allowed to play in the UK again. They would also probably contact the police and the police would arrest me in this country because what I'm doing is causing someone grievous harm. And the potential on that is a £10,000 fine and up to 10 years imprisonment. So, having these bullets is not illegal. <laughs> Shooting these high power bullets is absolutely fine, providing I do it in my own garden or on private property with consent. If you were to take these to a game, 
you're going to be in big trouble. So just to be clear, these are for plinking. This I can use in a game, but I'm not going to because a shell ejecting gun, even with the catcher, is not practical. And I'll show you why it's not practical when I show you how you have to load the gun up. This is fun. This is a fun gun to shoot, but it's not skirmishful, I don't think. Maybe maybe you run this gun in, in games and you've got loads of bullets and, and you're fine with it. But you have to be a damn good shot because I've got five bullets at 50 pounds. And I'm hell if I'm gonna run around the woods <laughs> whacking these things out and losing them. There's another one. Whacking these things out and losing them, it's not, it's not acceptable. Okay, so we're clear. We are legal. We are absolutely legal in the United Kingdom to use these bullets. Even though I bought them from abroad, from the company direct, I am absolutely fine to use these as long as I don't take them to a game. Boring? <laughs> I know. But let's hope, let's clear that. Let's move on. Okay, so let's look at the charging of the uh, individual bullets. So this is a CO2 uh, gun. And as I said before, if you haven't seen my first review, uh, then watch the first video because it'll give you an idea of the gun and I go through all the unboxing and stuff. As I say, I want to mainly focus on the shooting on this one and the shell ejecting and all the fun stuff. So it takes two CO2 capsules. The thing that makes this gun interesting, and this again, APM 50 just to show you, this is the right um, gun from the comments I had in the first video so the main the thing that makes this the most interesting about this gun is that usually you charge up like my um, Carl 98 you charge up the the gun you put the gas in the gun and then you fire the bullets from there this is different these take the gas these bullets are actually the ones that hold the gas so you have to charge the actual bullets up and that's where you use this. And this is where we had the problem in the first one because we had the leaking um, and it wasn't me, there was a fault on this. Just want to say, these bullets are amazingly large. This is a dummy round from a Barrett, 50 cal. That is a bullet and a half. Anyway, that's something else. So let's charge this. So. First of all, unscrew the base, okay? First CO2 goes upside down, and then the second one goes this way around. This time I'm gonna make sure this is closed tight. Screw this back up, and if you listen, you'll be able to hear the gas leaking out. Ready? So this part here will then put, burst the CO2 capsules. And that's it. This is where we went wrong last time. This is where we had the problems. So to show you this is correct, you can hear that's now uh, ready to go. So the bullet. You raise this part up, you put your bullet in, bring this down and screw it up tight. The bullet will go up and down. You need to push it up, fill the bullet up a few bursts, pull it down and you'll hear a gas and then you unscrew it. That is now ready to be loaded, and you do that by inserting the BB into the end. How long does that take? <clears throat> if you were going to play a game, how many rounds do you do? I don't know. You play a day, 
you're going to use two, three hundred rounds. That's a lot of faff. That's a lot of time. It's not skirmishable. It's not a skirmishable gun. Load the magazine again. So, metal magazine. Push the bullet in. there you go and there it is so if you're into something that's fairly realistic you know obviously we can't use the real guns but if you're into something that you know gives you a feel of, of being authentic then this is still in my opinion a pretty amazing thing it's fun it's this all this gassing and, and loading is is what you want and that's why I've got three of these so I can just put the guns in, shoot, put the little magazine in. But it's, as I say, it, it does make it a, a little bit more unskirmishable. The other thing I found is that when I'm using this, when I'm emptying it out, the, the CO2, the top one piercing, the bottom one isn't. Now it doesn't make a difference because it still charges the bullets up fine. But it just means obviously it doesn't hold as much gas and it uh, you have to change it more regularly not a huge problem but again just another bit of a faff uh, when you're uh, when you're using this gun it's not a great gun it's not a gun you can pick up and fire it's something you have to look after and, and cherish but Why would you not look at this thing? One last thing I want to mention about um, on this as well is that this gun is shooting at 700 FPS on the uh, better bullets, on the lower ones of 500. <clears throat> is this any good for pest control? So if you shoot an air rifle, an air rifle is shooting a small um, lead ballistic pellet, bullet, um, which will penetrate and, and, and kill uh, if you want to use it for hunting. These don't. These shoot a round plastic BB. These are not aerodynamic. These are not um, good for penetrating. This is not a gun for hunting. Um, so if you're thinking about whether or not you can buy this and, and use it for, for pest control, um, I would say to you that that would be a bad mistake. It's not a it's not the kind of gun for that. It's, um, no, no, just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's airsoft. Use these airsoft. Use these plinking for shooting targets. Don't use it for pest control.
Okay, so I set the sight down there um, at 30 foot, um, just so we can see if we can get a bit more consistent on this uh, and find out what the grouping is like. Um, I am using the point fours, so uh, put the grain, and we are using the devil shells here, so we'll see the higher power. Okay, let's see if the run comes going. Okay. Okay, so the run cam's going, sights are down there, got a camera down there, camera on top, uh, and a camera on see so you can see the shells coming out. All loaded up. Pulled the second one a bit low. So it's shooting low and right. Around. Okay, from 30 meters, two shots came up high. I realized it was shooting high. I think those were coming in next, and then the last one coming into here. So and we've got a flyer up here. So grouping is not great. Um, it'd be interesting when we go and try and shoot this at the uh, 60 meters. Target size, quite big, no ball. Okay, so now we're set up, again, still the same thing, point fours. Uh, the target now is at a distance of 65 foot. I've adjusted the sight slightly to give me a good chance. How we do with these? Clear magazines out, okay. So, shooting from 65 foot, all the way back up there. Target is showing one, two, three, four. The other two, I don't know where they went, I can't see anything on there, on there. but certainly four shots quite close. Perhaps the other ones came off to the side. Obviously, the sight just still needs to go to the uh, to the left a bit more. Better grouping. 
Not bad. Okay, one more go. I want to pull. Let's see if we can hit the target this time properly. One. Okay, so now I want to see what it's like to shoot somebody uh, at um, 700 FPS, uh, which is not a recommended thing to do. Now, obviously I'm firing a gun, so I can't do that, and everyone I asked to uh, see if they would help me out strangely uh, turned me down. Um, I can't think why. So, introducing to my dummy friend, Jack. Now I'm obviously hunting Sparrow and this is Jack Sparrow. This has nothing to do with any legal things that are going on at the moment uh, and please don't sue me, uh, especially if your name's heard. There's no treading on bees, there's no cutting off fingers on this, so uh, moving on. The idea of this is purely just to find out what a bullet or a, a BB at 700 FPS can do to, um, to a person if you to shoot them. I know this is not a precise demonstration because there's body and tissue and fat and blood and stuff like that. This is just purely to show you that these things are not to be taken lightly. This is a toy gun officially, but it's not. It's a serious weapon. That said, let's find out what, uh, what happens when you shoot at something. Welcome back. Okay, so we've done the boring legal stuff um, and we know where we stand regards to the FPS on this. Um, we've now managed to charge the bullets, uh, which we weren't able to do before, and then hopefully you have seen the shooting as well. So the shooting, I wasn't trying to, um, I wasn't trying to uh, offend anyone. 
it really was just an idea of showing that these things are pretty powerful and you do have to be careful when using them. Let's summarize this thing. What do you think? You saw it shooting, you saw the, the shells flying out, you saw that it's not the most accurate gun because there's no hop up in there. Um, but it is a it is a beast of a gun, isn't it? I mean, there's not much that can compare against this. Fun factor, 10 out of 10. I mean, really, it is brilliant fun. It is really good fun to hit, when, to shoot. You don't get recoil on this. There's no recoil at all, and that's disappointing, but then it's airsoft. Look-wise, I mean, I think that looks awesome, doesn't it? I think that looks an amazing gun. I'm really impressed, and I have to say I do love it. It's tactile, it's 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 easy to wield, it's easy to shoot, the trigger is good. It's not unaccurate, <laughs> but it's um, it's a fun gun to play with. The, uh, the shells, I would advise if you're going to do it, if you're going to get it, get the higher shells. It just makes it more interesting. What would I suggest? Would I buy one? Yes, I did. <laughs> I bought this one and I love it. I love it. It's a great gun. Thank you for watching. Please press that like button, press subscribe, uh, tune into my other videos. Look at the first part. It's a bit disappointing that we couldn't get the shooting in the first one, but we have now. It's summertime in the UK. Pollen is high, so I apologise for any sniffing or wiping my nose that everyone gets uh, so upset about, but I do try. It's a great gun. Thank you very much for watching, uh, and again, thank you uh, for, for your support. I have got something new coming up. The next review, I'm going to review this beast. Tune in. Come and watch.